Hello everyone, welcome to the Market Outlook for the week. Gaurang Shahya from Geojit Financial Services. And as I speak to all of you all this Monday morning at around about 10.45 uh, Monday morning, markets have uh, continued its upward tick. Before I go any further, let me give you certain levels on uh, Sensex, Nifty, Nifty Bank, Rupee Dollar Equation and Crude Oil. So Sensex is up 360 points and the level is 74,600 on the Sensex Nifty spot. 107 points up, 22,620 is the level on Nifty spot. Bank Nifty has been doing uh, two, both ways, uh, in the red, in the green, flip-flop. Uh, but as of uh, now, trading at uh, 26 points on the higher side, uh, Bank Nifty, 48,520 is the level on Bank Nifty. Rupee dollar equation uh, on the higher side, but uh, a minor bit of strength on the rupee of 0 0.04 paise and the level is 83.25 rupees to a single dollar on the crude oil front both nymex and brent we've seen a lower tick but at a elevated level uh, brent is trading at about 89.77 dollars to a barrel and nymex is trading at about 85.62 dollars to a barrel and this is of course you know uh, over the last uh, two weeks that is a fortnight uh, there has been a geopolitical situation on by ukraine on russian oil refinery and that's the reason why we've seen a little bit of elevated uh, levels and uh, the uh, view is that uh, because of the geopolitical uncertainty uh, there is likely possibility that we will witness a little bit of higher crude oil prices in the international market not because of demand supply but more because of the geopolitical situation on the uh, market front uh, friends uh, i think with the kind of levels that we've seen over the last couple of weeks and the momentum that we've witnessed on both Sensex and Nifty, especially uh, Bank Nifty. It will be prudent to see a little bit of profit booking, a little bit of consolidation, which will be healthy for the market, which will give opportunities for new players to come in and uh, take a look at uh, the stock specific investment ideas. Uh, not that we are going to see a huge correction, but a small bit of profit booking cannot be ruled out this week. And friends, this week, uh, Thursday is going to be a holiday, so it's going to be a truncated week. Uh, possibly either by the time we approach Thursday or maybe when we get back to trade on Friday morning, we'll see possibly a little bit of profit booking. Nothing really large in terms of correction, nor will we see uh, any kind of uh, huge sell-off, but uh, small consolidation cannot be ruled out this week. Having said that, uh, Fourth and the last quarter earnings this financial year will see a curtain raiser. Twelfth, uh, that is uh, on Friday onwards this week, we will see TCS announcing its numbers. And then a whole host of companies are going to follow in terms of announcement of fourth quarter numbers. Some kind of direction stock specific uh, can be witnessed during this time. And uh, of course, uh, as we all know, 19th April will be the first phase of election that will be rolled out. So you will see uh, some kind of uh, choppiness and volatility. Uh, precious metals, both silver and gold, have been rallying to a great extent, primarily because of the buying activity by a lot of central banks and, of course, uh, safe haven buying in terms of uh, the geopolitical situation that we are witnessing, not only in Ukraine, Russia, but also in uh, the Middle East as far as the Palestine and Israel situation is concerned and the statements made by Iran uh, over the last two days. So a little bit of uh, safety, it's a flight to safety is what we are witnessing and that has propelled gold and silver both at a higher level, more so for the gold. Uh, earnings front, we expect a little bit of subdued uh, to inline earnings as far as the curtain raiser TCS is concerned. But uh, autos, power, defense, uh, infrastructure, uh, hospitality industry, these are some of the cement, these are some of the sectors wherein we'll see a uh, little bit of uh, better than expected numbers. So you might see uh, upgrades coming through accordingly. Uh, if you are a short to medium term investor with the levels that we are witnessing and like we have advised earlier over the last couple of weeks since uh, short to medium term there is expectation of choppiness and volatility it will be prudent to you know take some money off the table and if market does give you an opportunity in terms of uh, lower levels then 
uh, stock specific in investment ideas cannot be ruled out uh, political parties and political leaders making certain statements and counter statements uh, will possibly have its impact on the market depending upon uh, which way the uh, you know uh, views are put out but uh, all opportunities on the lower side should be witnessed as buying opportunity every time that we uh, interact with you monday morning uh, we give you certain investment ideas uh, there are two names this uh, monday morning that we would like to discuss and both of them are in fact uh, public sector companies first one is canara bank a steady performer in terms of uh, earning visibility and a fantastic re-rating is what we witnessed uh, in canara bank over the period of time continued downward tick as far as grot and gross and net grant at pa is a concern uh, provisioning coming down and margins expanding and our view is that uh, entire financial sector that is banking both the public as well as private banking and strong nbfcs are going to witness tremendous amount of uh, credit growth even if you look at the numbers which have been put out as far as the advance and uh, 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 deposits and advance numbers are concerned casa number is concerned most of the banks and nbfcs have reported very strong numbers whereby we can possibly have an idea in terms of which way the fourth quarter earnings for the financial is going to go so first one is canara bank from public sector bank and the second one is uh, engineers india limited uh, cap goods engineering company uh, consistent performer great order book and as far as the green hydrogen rollout is concerned Uh, this company will provide the back end in terms of infrastructure creation for uh, green hydrogen so this is one company which you should possibly look at in terms of uh, maybe you know one and a half two year kind of time horizon so this is the second investment idea engineers india limited needless to say friends these are fundamental investment ideas so these are not short term medium term btst or otherwise these are uh, companies which we have evaluated on the fundamental side and on that basis you need to have at least one one and a half year plus kind of time horizon in case if you decide to invest in these companies uh, both canara bank as well as engineers india limited thank you very much for your patience hearing and i'll see you again next week till then please do take care of yourself bye bye